Welcome back, everybody, to Sherlock Holmes, the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. We're going down John Courage. I didn't know Dr. Watson's first name was John. Here's another. See how you like that. Oh, and how does this feel? Uh, not good. <laughs> I don't think you like that much. <laughs> now, teacher, let's see if I can break them. Watson? Dr. Watson? Holmes. What's up, man? I am so very glad to see you, Watson. This this is fucked up. Whee! Yes, he's alive! The bad guys had better watch out now. Grandpa's alive! And he is a good man. I knew that he was. Uh-oh, they're going to be sorry now. My grandpa ruled. Yes, and my grandpa saved him. Read it. Well, you're walking over the fucking pages. You are alive. I don't know what to feel. Relief or regret. Watson, my friend. You are not in a good state, Holmes. Neither are you. I suppose not. Can you walk? Not without your help. Why did you fake your own death? And who were those men? I have to carry on with the investigation alone. John, I'm innocent. I'm not an accomplice of those men. Look at me. Do I look as though I could be their boss? Am I in a position to give such orders? What a relief! Oh my God, what a relief! But how? Curare, hemlock, a few Indian plants, and sheep's blood to create the impression of death. A pathologist who owed me a favor for the death certificate. Holmes, I was talking about this affair of... I will explain everything, my friend, but we must leave here. Yes, let's go back to Baker Street. I'll help you. Lean on me. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, we're back at fucking Baker Street. Home at last. I have missed this old room very much, Watson. I put everything back in place after Baines went through it, but I didn't stay here. I couldn't face it. Sit down, my friend. It is time for you to know the full details of this case. All right, I'm, I'm fucking all, ready. I must apologize for the distress that this has caused you, and for my behavior, which was, I know, quite abominable. I can only hope that by the end of this explanation you will understand that I behaved in such a way only to protect you, and that it caused me great pain to see your trust and confidence in me ebbing away. From whom, or what, did you wish to protect me? From Professor Moriarty. Moriarty? We should not have taken pity on him in that Swiss asylum. Do you remember, during the case of the Awakened, our indulgence no. has cost us dear today. He's responsible for the bishop's murder? Yes, but that was only a small detail in his plan. A detail which he had to eliminate, as it compromised the whole of his diabolical project. The bishop had in his possession a document which he suspected as being one component of a larger puzzle. The ramifications were unknown to him, but he considered the matter as sufficiently important that he should consult me. The day before our macabre discovery, his nephew, who was in his confidence, brought to him an important element which helped him understand Moriarty's grand plan. Uh -huh. It was at that moment the two men began to comprehend the seriousness of the situation. The bishop then decided to contact me. Against his nephew's wishes? Was that what they argued about? Yes. But Moriarty found out that the bishop knew of his projects, and he arranged for his murder. The murderers were also supposed to bring back the document that the nephew, young Hampford, found. 
but they were unable to open the safe. What was the document? Evidence of Prince Woodville's implication in the project. Hmm, the nephew must have retrieved it from the Royal Archives, where he worked. A link to the crown. Yes, Moriarty wanted to overthrow Queen Victoria and place the prince on the throne of England. But that's impossible. He would have needed to create an incredible coup d'etat. Patience, Watson. First of all, Moriarty placed his pawns so they might begin to develop and encourage a tense atmosphere, ready to discredit the Queen and thereby raise Woodville's popularity and provoke a famine so that the Prince's soup kitchens could begin distributing food and he would appear as a hero. Exactly. Moriarty quickly learned that I was making inquiries as to his plan and, uh, without wishing to sound vain, he knew that I was the only person capable of upsetting his schemes. He therefore set up a plan that I be discredited and thought of as a criminal. And you played along with him? Precisely. Allowing him to believe that he had succeeded was the best way of ensuring that his attention was no longer fixed on me. Why didn't you say anything to Scotland Yard? Did you not think it strange that Inspector Lestrade was away for weeks? What? You mean to say that Baines was working for Moriarty? I understand. The Bishop's murderers were in the hands of this traitor, and you were therefore at a dead end after our investigations of the opium den. Yes, and Bain's authority allowed him access to the police archives. He changed and forged all the charges in the documents that you saw at Judge Beckett's house. It was also he who substituted the Samoan necklace for a vulgar copy. So that was why the judge went to Farley's, to obtain Baines's false information. Precisely. But they each found themselves what? as instruments in Moriarty's strange orchestra. I am so fucking lost. Judge Beckett received entire books full of charges against me, and a journalist such as Farley will not hold back when he gets the chance to make the front page of all the newspapers in England. Uh, with regard to Farley, it was a mere case of professional misconduct. And to think that I held you responsible for the explosion at the judge's house. What a relief! But why did Moriarty have him killed? He was on the point of discovering that all the documents supplied by Farley, and therefore by Baines, were false. Exactly the opposite to what our enemy was anticipating. And where did the poison fit in all this? Unfortunately, I, I do not possess all the information on this subject. The first time that we saw the effects of this substance on the body of the bishop, the poison was evidently only at an experimental stage. It was much too potent to do anything with. Effectively. But in the second case, Kurtz, I didn't notice a great advance. However, there was one. The poison was no longer fatal. Yes, but the madness was still there. I should remind you that he attempted to devour his own dogs. Correct, Watson. But it was not the second case. I am case, so fucking confused. Remember the number of other incidences of madness, either collective or individual, relayed in the press in the days prior to it. You mean to say that Moriarty tested this dangerous mixture on a large number of guinea pigs, apparently with little success, as all those people are now dead. And I say apparently because I do not have the least idea as to the result Moriarty was hoping for. Holy shit, what am I That's where on? Hands comes in, isn't it? Moriarty needed him to devise the substance's final formula. And so you helped Hans to escape so he might lead you to it. Yes, but things did not go as I had planned. The professor's men got their hands on him just after his escape. And you lost his trail? Yes, but I doubted that Moriarty would take Hans to his lair. To find him, I had only one trail. The bomb placed at the judge's house. The trail of the three Russian brothers. I found out about the mill by having the anarchist's trail followed by the children in my own secret police. Once again, their help was a determining factor. Okay. As regards knowing where to locate Moriarty's lair, I hoped to find the information in the attic of the water mill. I got to it only just in time before Baines turned up. And you were stuck then, weren't you? Allowing him to arrest you would have meant certain death. Yeah. Regrettably. 
But Moriarty's plan worked in any case, as after killing Baines, I became England's most wanted man for the murder of a Scotland Yard inspector. And so you had to make sure that people forgot about you. Therefore, you orchestrated your own death so that you might continue your investigation discreetly. Oh, that was a terrible time for me, Holmes. Yeah, I know. I am sorry, my dear fellow. Well, the important thing is that you are well and truly alive. Yes, but it is not over yet. Moriarty will take action one day or another. You were saying that you had found Moriarty's hideout. Where is it? In an abandoned fun fair on the outskirts of London. Uh -huh. It is quite certain that they are all there. Shieldman, the Prince, and of course, Moriarty. If Moriarty puts the Prince on the throne, he'll have his hands on the reins of the kingdom. Her colonies, her diplomatic network, her riches, everything. Yeah. Yes, including the army, the war fleet, everything he needs to help him conquer Europe. And eventually, I suspect, the world. Holmes, we have to be quick. His plan hasn't been put into action yet. Perhaps it's not too late. Let us go immediately, Watson. Okay, I'm actually going to save it because I'm kind of tired and I don't really want to play anymore tonight. So, yeah. I mean, what a shock! This has all been today. We're waiting, we're waiting, we're waiting for the fucking cutscene to fucking load up so I can save this motherfucking game and come to it another day. Yes, 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 yes. I say, Holmes, what do you Does think? I really believe that Moriarty is in there behind no. that fence. Something in the wind seems to suggest it, Watson. I have a peculiar acid taste in my mouth, if that is what you mean, Holmes. Well, yes. The air is tainted still with toxic fumes from the factory chimneys. I believe that I read about this place. The funfair was abandoned after the factory was built oh so God. close by. It was said that even the ice cream tasted bitter. Yeah, because it probably fucking I'm too did. curious about the warehouse down there. There seems to be some strange activity taking place inside. Strange and in keeping with Moriarty's activities. Let us go and see what they're up to. I don't want to go and see what they're up to because I'm going to save it. We're calling it a night. Bye, folks. Thank you for watching The Testament of Sherlock Holmes. See you next time. Goodbye.